Whenever we sell inventory, there are always two journal entries that must be made. One deals with the price we sold the inventory to our customers for. The other deals with the cost we purchased the inventory for. The sales price entry involves either cash or accounts receivable, depending on whether the customer has paid yet, and the related revenue account. The inventory cost entry involves a new account called cost of goods sold and inventory. Cost of goods sold is a specialized expense account that keeps up with the cost of each sale of our inventory. Let's say we purchased coffee beans for our coffee shop and paid $2 a bag for these. That is our cost. We would increase or debit the inventory account for this cost and credit cash or accounts payable. We paid $2 a bag for the coffee beans. How much do we want to sell each bag for? While you may not know a specific price, you should know that you want to sell them for more than $2 a bag, right? Assume we price the coffee bags at $5 each. Right now, the total cost of what we paid for these bags is sitting in our inventory account waiting to be sold. Once a customer purchases some of this inventory, we want to move it out of the inventory account and into cost of goods sold. We have a customer that comes into the store and purchases one bag of coffee. How much did the customer pay for that bag? They paid $5. So we would record a debit to cash for $5 and a credit to sales revenue for $5. This records the sales price and what we received from the customer. However, something else happened with that transaction. We physically gave the customer something in exchange for their money. We gave them a bag of coffee. We need to record this decrease in our inventory. How much of our inventory just left the store? Was it $5 worth? Nope, that's how much we priced it for a sales price. However, that is not how much we paid for and recorded one bag of coffee in our inventory account. That amount was $2 a bag. That is what each bag of inventory cost us and what makes up the total in the inventory account. This is the amount we need to decrease inventory by and increase cost of goods sold by. We would make a second entry to debit cost of goods sold for $2 and credit inventory for $2. Now we've recorded everything that happened with that sale.